Hi and welcome to Triple F's My Experience, Our Experience, where women and young girls share their health struggles. Postpartum depression and postpartum psychosis are real disorders that affect a lot of women. It may get to the point where these women harm themselves and their children. The climax of this was seen in 2001 when a 37 year old Texas mother, Andre Pierre Yates, killed her five children. On World Preeclampsia Day, 22nd of May 2020, we talked about understanding preeclampsia. And today we're privileged to listen to the story of a mother who had preeclampsia and postpartum depression. Hi, my name is Rose. I got pregnant a year after my first child. When I get to the hospital for normal routine checkup, the doctor will say I should go do scan because the baby was really, really at the lower abdomen. And me, when I prepared to go for scan, the scan doctor would say the baby is okay, but what they always say is that the fluid was a little bit low. That should take enough water. When I got to seven months and we went for a scan, the baby was 1.42. The doctor was really, really surprised. But then again, he was like, since it's seven months, the next three months the baby can grow more than expected so i should just try and eat well and sleep well because indeed i was not sleeping so he gave me some drugs also and i followed his routine so when it got to the ninth month of my pregnancy i went for the checkup the baby was 3.5 and then after like two weeks interval the baby came back to 3.2 the doctor was like am i urinating too often i said yes i urinate virtually every time he was like okay let's go to test your sugar level there was no trace of sugar so the doctor said eh, there's no problem maybe it's the position of baby that's why you're urinating for a longer period the exact day i was supposed to be when i went to the hospital for normal checkup the doctor was like madam you're in labor that I should go to the labor ward. They also checked the normal routine check and they saw indeed I was in labor that I've already got to 4 cm. I had to call my parents to bring my hospital bag over and I stayed. So the normal checkup, they always check. They'll check your blood pressure, they check your, your urine. So when they had the checkup of me, they saw that my blood pressure was very high. So they decided to place me on, on medication. But before then, they had to go and take a sample of my blood and my urine. When they check my urine, ah, there's high protein in my urine. This is the child life from the beginning of my pregnancy down to the ninth month. I have never seen protein in my urine. And the doctor was like, Madam, you're going to be on for preeclampsia if we don't stabilize your blood pressure it might also affect the child and they gave me a very high dose of an injection that it was as if i was burning up inside of me i was crying the, 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 the nurse was fanning me and they were just encouraging me that madam if you don't do this it will affect this your blood pressure might affect the child that i should just endure and they were still checking to see if i would increase in my cm so that I'll be able to push the baby. That medicine actually reduced my blood pressure and after like five hours, so they were they were consistently checking the, the heartbeat of the child every 30 minutes to see if it's okay, if it's stabilized, and also to check if I'm dilated. So at a point the, the doctor came and said, Madam, you're on seven cm, but uh, the baby's heartbeat is not going as smoothly as they as we have expected and my blood pressure is also coming a little bit high so i should opt that they, they gave me an option to go for cs so i was like okay i don't have any choice i've stayed for close to i've stayed there for over 24 hours i was already tired i was just drinking water i was exhausted so when we went for the theater and they they brought out the child there in the the theater room the doctor was like madam you're so lucky that you did not push out this baby if not this baby would have died because the position where the baby was there's no way that baby would have come out we would have succeeded in turning the baby to 
an imbecile or something else. But that was how the baby came out. And after the operation and everything, I went into depression. I was so scared of him because the baby was so small, but the baby reduced to two point. And they had to take the baby to intensive unit. I was very depressed. After my stay in the hospital, I went home. Anytime I see the baby, I say I should just so forget the baby, let the baby go. But when I think of the CSID, I just remove that thought. I went into postpartum depression. I've always been thinking of how to kill myself. You know, all the all the procedures, the medicine they were giving me, I refused to take. My brother who was just encouraging me. Every day they come, they make sure that they, they don't keep me close to the child for that period of time. They always come to carry the child from me. Just only, and the baby was not sucking. The doctor said because of the, the stress, the baby was weak, that it would take time for the baby to suck. So I was expressing this milk for the child. That one too was also another really hectic part for me too. But at the end of the day, after like two months to the three months, I started gaining back my confidence and I started encouraging myself also and the baby survived. Pregnancy experience is different for every woman. So if you're a mother out there and you feel overwhelmed or depressed in any kind of way, please talk to someone that you trust and get all the help you need. Thank you so much for watching.